Welcome to week four, race one of the MRC GT TCC here from Catalonia. We have the Ferrari 458 Italia Group 4s and we are with the Elite 1 League of the GT TCC, so one down from Fusion. Uh, we have a great lineup of drivers. And we'll start with Fubuki, who's on pole position in the Michelin Ferrari. P1 Don is second on the grid. P1 Rear Wheel, 72 in third. JPH 99 is in fourth. Infinity is in fifth. Angus Makotup is in sixth. B rated, seventh. Mutt 36th is in eighth. Ghost Realm is in ninth. P1 RC Ghost Realm. Uh, MRC Dangly Ball is in tenth. Uh, Chris 74 Mac is in 11th and has 91 rounds us out in 12th place so here we go week 4 race 1 let's get this underway so the cars will slowly begin to rev up as the lights come on There we go, the revs are up and we are green here at Catalonia for the first race this week of Elite One. Fabuki's got a decent start. P1 Don has got an awful start. He, I think he's jumped the start there looking at the way he's gone back. And JPH99 down the inside. He's got um, Angus McCote up on the outside along with Ghost Realm into turn one. Infinity decal is up to third place in the Halfords car. Ghost round. A little nudge on JPH as they go through turn three. It's all good. Up to four. And, oh, JPH making a mistake there. Let's have a quick nose back at that one then. So into turn 40, yeah, he's just braked a bit too late and got out of it to make sure he didn't cause any co further co any contact with anyone. And uh, he's not done himself any favours there by spinning the rear wheels up. Fabuki still leads from rear wheel. Infinity in third. It's going to be Ghost Realm in fourth. Angus fifth. He's got B-rated. Try and get them alongside him. As we come into turn 7 and 8. The Michelin car. Through turn 9, really difficult corner, turn 9 over a blind crest. P1 Don just behind B rated. You can see 11 cars and Mutt 36 down the inside. That's on P1 Don for 7th place into turn 10. Mutt can't quite make the move stick though. And he's now got House 91 down the inside through the long right hander, down towards the final set of corners. Much just about holding on to 8th place. As they head through the chicane. Oh, and that is Has91. He's made a slight mistake there. The back end stepping out. Chris Mack is down to 10th. Dangly ball up into 9th as they head out of the final corner. But Fabuki still leads. Let's say uh, Dangly ball. Yeah, Dangly ball. I don't know whether he was just serving a penalty or something there. But he was way off the racing line and he's lost a bit of time to Chris Mack. Back at the front. Oh, and B rated. Down the inside of Angus. Through three. P1 Don follows him through as he enters turn four. Opportunistic from Don, making sure he gets these places back after a false start and Angus back to the inside of Don coming in to 7 the question is can he make it stick in the Budweiser car? no not quite I believe these are teammates I believe Don's part of the Budweiser team so they ideally don't want to fight too much here Oh, 
one now, almost looking onto the back of B-rated. Mutt down the inside. He's loving this corner. This time he gets the move sorted against Angus. He's down the inside. Lovely job. Up into seventh for Mutt. Now Mutt's come down from Fusion. My Infinity has still got the Samsung car of rear, P1 rear wheel in front of him. Down the main straight for the third time. We're now four minutes into this 30 minute endurance race. Doesn't look like Infinity's going to have a run into turn one though. B rated. Don does have a run. It's turn one. B rated breaks slightly earlier, looking for maybe a switch back out to two and into three. Oh, he's got it as well, you know. He's got to the inside of turn three, which would be the inside for turn four as well. So P1 Don, it was a good initial move, but obviously that tighter line, making him run wider through two, making him wider through three, and B rated the ever opportunistic driver he is. Beautifully played, just breaking that touch earlier, getting the right line, but P1 Don back on the inside into the turn five hairpin. And unfortunately, B rated didn't see that one until it was too late. So he's now going to have to fall back in line with Dom and try and get him back another corner. Let's come up to the turn nine, right hand over the crest. There's Mutz, Angus, Dangly Ball. Chris Mack, there's Haz, JVH, currently in 12th, but he is gradually catching the back of the pack, so we'll have to see what he does, he's on super softs all around, as is our leader, Fubuki, rear wheel, softs on the front, super softs on the rear, Infinity, super softs all around, Pill and Dawn is super softs all around, Softs for B rated, so he's looking for a bit of a longer first stint by the looks of it, or potentially trying to go the whole way without a stop. Mutt 36, so the super softs all around. It's Kutnossi. Interesting to know what tyres everyone is on. Angus on softs, uh, Downy Ball on soft fronts, super softs rear. Just a bit of a wiggle on the main straight. No idea why. Uh, super softs all around for Chris Mack. And has soft fronts, super soft rears, and as we know, JPH on super soft, who is gradually catching at the back of the pack after his off earlier this race. Fubuki still leading. Don is catching up to Ghost Realm here. He's on the back of him going into turn four, into five. Not too far away from Infinity decals either. Some good view here from B-rated as we enter turn 6, turn 7, turn 8, up to 9. Don's got a bit of a run. Couldn't quite make it work though. Down to the turn, hen, t turn 10 hairpin. Donald's trying to get rid of his penalty at the same time. But if these three work together, they could get onto the back of Infinity and be fighting over third place rather than the fourth, almost like wooden spoon of the podium. Because you're there, but not quite there. Into the final sector, or well, section of corners, through that little horrible little chicane at the end of the lap. Cycle through as Angus, Dangly Ball, Chris Mack has a 91. Chris Mack in the Halfords car, not too far away from Dangly Ball. In the cash draw. And we have front, oh, and Dawn has made the move. So down the main straight, lots of slipstream for P1 Dawn to work with against P1RC. Ghost Realm, Ghost Realm doesn't even bother defending, he knows it's futile down this main straight. 
moved on up into P4 and we'll be looking to go to the back of Infinity decals very soon. Now again, because of that tighter line, he's slow through three and goes around almost on the back of him. Oh, he's looking to the inside as well, but he's now got B-rated, who's now looking to the inside of turn four. Can't quite make the move, just a little bit too far back. As they head through into turn five. Ghost Realm looking to try and keep hold of that top five place for now. Not much going on behind. Fubuki is clear of rear wheel by a fair distance now. 2.7 seconds and probably growing right now. Ghost Realm has got himself a little gap to be rated. Uh, look back because I think JP Chase 9 is on the back of Has 91. Try and keep an eye on everyone. Has 91 not too far off the back of Chris Mack. As he head into the turn 10 hairpin. He's just a little wide on exit there. Ghost Ram still has B-rated behind him, coming down towards the main straight. The slipstream for the Michelin driver, this should be enough to potentially make that move. Also at the back, we've got Has91, Chris Mack pulling over. Back for fifth though, B-rated down the inside, hits the brakes, thinks better of it though. Oh no, he still slides down the inside. Can't quite make the move stick though. JPH is now down the inside of Has91. This for 10th place. He gets the move done. Through into 10th for the HKS driver. Still with a lot of work to do after that earlier mistake. P1 RC Ghost Round still hanging on to 5th place. P1 Don all over the back of the Halfords, inf oh, Halfords car of Infinity decals. Look to the inside of turn six, turn seven. Thought better of it. B rated, still can't get past Ghost Realm. Two to nine. P1 Don, will he look for a move into the hairpin? The answer is no. He thinks. Decides better of it, decides to just stick behind the Halfords car. Just keeps on lapping, maybe trying to use the Infinity to get on to the back of rear wheel. See if a boogie just gone, he's already going into the last corner. I think Don knows this could be the best chance down the main straight where he's got that slipstream. Already a third of the way through this race and Pino Dom, after a false start earlier in the race at the beginning. We also have B-rated. So we'll have a quick look at Don. Into turn one. Again, Don can't quite make this move. B-rated did go down the inside, but he's gone wide. And Ghost Drone will get back through. And Mutt actually makes it through as well, because after B-rated, he's, he's had to cut the corner to keep the car under control, and Mutt's managed to slide his way through. So good stuff from Mutt 36. It's dangly ball. He's not too far away from Angus Makota up here. Castro man. Looking good here so far. He's on soft front, super soft rears. And those soft fronts really looking like they're wearing a touch more than the super softs, really. Oh, and Infinity decals wide. Lucky to keep that under control. Clipping the gravel like that can send the car round on you like an absolute spinning top, so he's lucky to get away with it into the final sector. 
He does now have a half second penalty to contend with. Through the final chicane in the final corner. A little bit wide from Infinity, just riding that yellow sausage curve on the outside. And here comes P1 Dom. Down the inside, Infinity takes his penalty, so that's a done deal for P1 Dom. He is now up into third place and will be looking to chase down Rear Wheel. He's not too far ahead of him. Let's go around Mutt 36, who has B rated behind. Four goes straight out, losing a bit of time. He's gradually falling into the back, in, into the hands of Mutt 36. There's Angus Makota. There's Dangly Ball. Dangly Ball starting to get a little bit of pressure from behind now. JPH is on his recovery drive, has managed to get up to the back of the Castro driver, not, he's not quite there yet. Still a bit of space for Dangly Ball. The back, I think there's a good battle between Chris Mack and Has91. This is the battle for 11th place. to the hairpin. Ghost Realm might be rated all in the right in the same order as we left and there's Angus. Dangly ball. And Rear Wheel is into the pits. So a new boost JBH comes into the pits as well. So it's time for some new boots for some people then, maybe looking for a bit of an undercut. Just get back up the order. The tyres do tend to suffer around Catalonia. Fabuki still on his super soft. He can kind of look after his tyres at the moment because he's got a nice gap now to P1 Dom. Infinity Ghost Realm Nut still has the Michelin car of B rated. come out between Angus and Dangly Ball. She's got a bit of traffic to contend with on his outlap. Does the Samsung driver. Has 91 in 10th now. There's JPH on a, on a fresh set of super softs. Chris Mack also came in the pits for a set of super soft tyres. So this is where things start to play out a little bit more interesting. Goes around in 4th, still holding off month 36 as they head up towards turn 9. We are over halfway through this race. It's definitely shaping up to be interesting ones. Oh, I might went for the move and contact between B rated and Ghost Round. Let's have another look back at that. So, Mutt's gone for a move down the inside of the hairpin, gets it slightly wrong. B rated looking for an opportunistic move. You can, you can see it, he just he th he sees the gap just open up, looks to go down the inside of it, the door closes. Contact between him and Ghost Realm. Mutt gets involved with a touch of contact, but B Racer doesn't improve his position, doesn't gain anything. So, all is good. And good sportsmanship for not just driving off as well, but Ghost Realm back into fourth place after much tried down the inside of the hairpin didn't quite work I think even without that tap I, th I think Ghost Round would have probably got back at him just with the traction off the corner Infinity decals in the pits now and a bit of a train forming there's real will to the inside of Angus but also B rated down the inside of Mutt, which is catching that one. 
Into turn one, job done. Rear wheel gets Angus. So, turn one proving to be quite a, a hot spot for our overtaking here. And there's Infinity Decals, he's in front of Ghost Rail. He's P9. JBH not too far behind him. So the HKS driver came in a lap earlier, and he, I think he's definitely gained time here on Ghost Trout. So it'll be interesting to see where he comes out fully once all the pit stops are taken. B rated now it still has Mutzik 36 behind him, but Rear World 72, who's on fresh tyres, don't forget he's already pitted. He's on the back of them, and ideally he needs to get past them quickly because he's going to get held up here. See, this is for position, so they don't have to get out of the way of Rear World 72. And Mutt and B-Rated will be fighting for that third position. Mutt looking to the outside. Will, we, will he be looking for a switchback? I think the answer is yes. Has he got the switchback? Uh, the answer is no. The Michelin driver of B-Rated continuing to lead this train who's fighting for third place. The question is, when do they come into the pits? Because those softs are looking a little worse for wear for being rated. As are those super softs. Those softs are actually more worn than the super soft set. So B rated comes into the pits, leaving Mutt 36 and rear wheel out on the circuit. Dangly Ball continuing on on his soft front tyres. I don't think Mutt's going to fight this one too much against rear wheel. Rear wheel 72 up into third place. Fabuki still going long. B rated comes out. And where does he come out? He comes out in ninth behind JPH. So that's how much time JPH has actually gained by coming in that lap earlier. So he had that mistake early on, which meant he probably means he could have been fighting higher up. But it looks like the undercar has worked an absolute treat for the HKS driver. He's now ahead of B rated and Angus McCoat up. So 8th place for JPH, and that is a genuine 8th place right now. Because those around him have actually have pitted as well. Finney decals starting to get onto the back of Dangly Ball. On the back of the battle for the wooden spoon, there's Chris Mack. It's not too far away from Has91. I think the real fight. Uh, well, I say the real fight. B rated obviously having to get those tyres to temp by the looks of it. Not quite on the back of JPH as he would probably like to be right now. Daniel Bourne Infinity. Into the last succession of corners. Cash running it a little bit wrong, a bit too tight for the second part of the chicane. I feel yeah, he's not gonna fight Infinity, he knows that's not his fight to fight. When does Mutt, Mutt 36, when does he pit? He's still on those old tyres. There's Ghost Ram, he's picked up another penalty somewhere. Oh, he's on Super Sauce. And behind that you got JPH, B rated. So they head down into turn of four. JPH, that's the quickest of anyone in the first sector. First sector made up of just three corners, I think. B rated behind a B rated, very quick driver, the Michelin car. Race is very fair to B rated. He knows when to pick his moments as they go through turn nine. I feel like B-Rated is just 
biding his time here. Looks on the inside, no gap available. If these two work together, they might be able to get up to the back of Ghost Round and start making this a three-way fight for seventh place. There's Mutt, followed by Infinity from Dangly Ball, and there's Ghost Round. Down the main straight, and it looks like B-Rated is going for the move. To the inside of turn one, we've seen it before, we're going to see it again. So B-Rated through in to eighth place, but a bit of a slide out of turn two. JPH all over the back of him, going through three. Down to four, the HKS are looking to the outside. It's very slightly earlier, looking for that switch back, but b rated will still have the inside for turn five. Right, JPH not getting the run he was looking for, although sticking to the back end of that Michelin car, whilst Ghost Rail is now on the back of Dangly Ball. Oh, JPH a little bit sketchy off the curb, too much curb taken. Ball. So letting Ghost Round through again. Knows that's not his fight. Goes behind on those fresher tyres. I think Dangly Ball knows he's just a little bit too much of a sitting duck to really fight them. As they head through the final sector. Again, Dangly Ball just clipping the inside curb of the first part of the chicane. Just a little bit too much and is forcing the car wide and not allowing him to get the turn in he wants for the second part. Just puts him too tight and it means he, his exit is very much compromised against anyone who's behind him. JPH down the inside. See, B-Rated's already done it, but JPH down the inside completely on B-Rated. Does he know? Not quite backs out of it. Probably the right thing to do there. Through turn three, towards four. And again, these two still fighting. Are they fighting or working together? No, and JP getting a little bit of a tighter line, looking for that opportunity here to sneak by. Quick recap for Buki, still in the lead, still has is yet to pit. As is P1 Don in second, Rear Wheel is in third. Infinity fourth, Month 36 at fifth. Ghost Realm is sixth, B rated seventh. Dangly Ball is in ninth. Angus Makota in 10th. Has are in 11th. Chris Mack in 12th, obviously. And those guys, two at the back, having a bit of a battle. They're a bit spread at the moment, but uh, you never know come the end of this race. Bit too much curve from... Ghost Rally gets away with it though. The car doesn't bounce across like it has done for the likes of Dangly Ball. And B Rated has just managed to put a gap between himself and JPA, which means the slipstream not much of a threat. It will drag JP up to the back of him, but no more than that. Infinity obviously passed Mutt. Infinity in the top four. He's having a great race in the Halfords Ferrari. Mm -hmm. 
Back to sixth place and Ghost Realm. It's Ghost Realm just ahead of B rated as they come out of five through six to seven. All a bit wide from Ghost Route, just about keeps it in the bounds of the racing circuit. And again, B rated closing up. They are catching Mutt 36, but possibly not at the rate required, with just a minute and 40 seconds to go. Bit wide from Ghost Row into the chicane. Being that tight is going to cost him on the exit. And it has done B rated right on his chuff coming through the final corner. Sweeping to the inside is B rated. JPH looking for a slipstream just to go up to the pack of these two. To try and join in the fun for the battle for sixth. I believe this will be the last lap. Oh, and touch and go between B rated and goes round. B rated just about gets through. And here comes JBH. He's looking now. Round the outside of turn three. Can he make this work? The answer is no. Probably not because Goes Round now has the inside for turn four. JBH still looking around the outside. Now switches it. Ghost Realm under immense pressure, JPH is still there. And Ghost Realm just about gets back in line. But this is an immense battle between these two. Again, JPH. back here of Ghost Rail. Meanwhile, it's Fabuki who goes on to the final lap. Um, P1 Don wins here. I say wins. Comes second. He's the first man to finish across the line, but he's second overall. Good recovery after his jump start. P1 Rear Wheel is in third. Infinity Decals fourth. Mutt 36 in fifth. B rated will be sixth. Ghost Realm has that penalty to get rid of coming through the final corner. He goes to the inside. JBH will get him on the line. It'll be seventh for JBH. Ghost Realm finishes in eighth. Ninth for Angus Makota. Dangly Balls comes home in tenth. Has 91. Will beat Chris Mack to 11th place in the end. A good race between those two. And there is Chris Mack who rounds us out for 12th place.